Hello guys, I have an exciting range of videos for you coming out very shortly and I am starting off by reviewing every single one of the new characters and now obviously I do not have them unlocked because that would be mental but I, I want to, because I play this game a lot, I've got an understanding of what everything's going to happen and what the moves mean. So we're going to start with Aladdin and now the only way to get Aladdin as you can see by clicking here, is through the sign-in. So that's always I always find that a bit annoying. When the game first came out, they had the sign-in character the same as in the guild crates, and that made more sense. But he looks pretty decent. So I'll I'll go through his um skill set, which once again all looks pretty decent. But yeah he's not going to be worth using because of the amount of time it's going to take to unlock him and you know get him up worthy of all the other characters but so we will go straight in with his first move which is saber slash aladdin slashes enemies with his I can't, i'm not going to try to pronounce that <laughs> aladdin slashes enemies with his sword three times so it'll go ding 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 which is good i'm not sure how aladdin attacks normally because I'm, I'm comparing Aladdin to someone along the lines of Quora because he's a mix between Quora and another character which I'll get to later on. But that, that will mean is he just goes ding 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 and that's a rapid attack and you know you could, that could put a tank on, it, on his ass. That could flatten, that would flatten you know attack type enemies or control type enemies with ease. So that's his first move, you know, it's not that great, they never asked their first move. Then we come to energy steal, and now I do like an energy steal move, because the more you can get your, your special, the more you can absolutely wreck. So what, what this does, and this makes it better because he dodges a move. So uh, let's say, I'm trying to think of a powerful move that someone's got. Nick throws his lemming rush, or yeah, no, let's say Nick throws his three lollies and he dodges them, he's basically dodged about 80,000 worth of damage and then he'd still, then he'd still energy but also he counters and attacks but he can only counter every 7 seconds, that's quite a big window so you know obviously this is all the automatic side of the game so it's just luck really, that's why when you play quite a, a, a wide range of the missions when you play them um, you you only so yeah so I was saying it's just luck so you could you just need to be lucky with that move that he uses it against a good skill and now we'll go into one jump ahead Aladdin has a so once again he's got a chance to dodge Aladdin has a 25% chance to dodge any attacks from an enemy so that's all the time so every time he gets attacked there's a 25% chance he will not take any damage, which is crazy, because that alongside the seven second move, you're looking at dodges, dodges, dodges. So Aladdin has a 25% chance to dodge any attack from enemies level 21 or below. That's, you know, that's the more you upgrade the skill, the better it gets, that's common sense. So if, if you've got the skills level 85, you'd be able to dodge people on level 85. And now, this is why I say he's a bit of a recycled character. He could still be very good, don't get me wrong, I, I haven't used him yet and as soon as I can find someone in my guild or someone who can send me him to use, I will improve my review. But this is just, you know, first impressions. So Aladdin rides carpet over his enemies at the start of combat and jumps down into them, swinging his sword three times, dealing damage with each swing. Now, so he rides his carpet over enemies at the start of the combat and jumps down. Now, that doesn't say, uh, like it doesn't state whether it damages all the enemies or just one enemy, because if it just damages one enemy, who cares really? It's just his first skill again. So that's something to think about in that move, that because when Cora goes through, she hits everyone damages every, everybody and then flies off and it gives her a window at the start where she's not being focused on to attack. So it looks interesting in Magic Carpet, right? If we tap him a few times we can see his move. So that was his first move. 
That was probably the counter one. That's his normal attack. That's the magic carpet ride, jumps down. So yeah, you can see he, he looks quite cool. That's just his pawn there. That'll be his victory pose. So this is my sort of first impressions sort of review on Aladdin. Le I want you guys to leave a comment below on are you going to use Aladdin? And if you are, who are you going to swap him out for? Who would you swap for Aladdin? I am not going to use Aladdin because I personally think Quora is better just from reading the skills. Because obviously Quora throws the disc, it bounces between seven enemies, every enemy is getting hit by disc. She's power, she's power mental. But yeah, leave a comment below. Are you going to use him? And if so, why? Have I missed anything? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and subscribe.